Hello grade 9 students! So I am Teacher V and welcome here on my channel. Ang lesson natin ay para sa mga grade 9 students and it's about solving problems involving parallelograms, trapezoids, and kites. And ang reference na ginamit ko sa video natin today is yung ating learner's packet yan, or yung lip. Okay. Yung mga examples na ipapakita ko sa inyo rito ay almost the same. Medyo iniba ko lang siya ng given, okay? Pero hindi sila pareho ng mga given quantities or numbers. Ang reason why I did that is because gusto ko na pag-aralan nyo pa rin yung mga examples na ibibigay at hindi lang basta kopyahin yung solution or your answer. Okay? So, let's begin. Let's have the engagement part or dito yung magsosolve na kayo ng mga problems related sa parallelograms, trapezoids, and kites. So, the direction here is you're going to illustrate and solve the following problems. Number one, two consecutive sides of a parallelogram measure 8 meters and 12 meters respectively. What is the perimeter of the parallelogram? So, para mas madali nating masolve ang problem, mag drawing tayo ng parallelogram. So, assuming that this is our paral parallelogram, and the measurement nila is 8 meters and 12 meters. The question in this problem is to know the perimeter of our parallelogram. Ano nga ulit ang formula natin sa perimeter? Yes, you're correct. The perimeter is equal to 2 times the sum of A and B or length and width ng ating parallelogram. So, in this given, we have 8 meters at 12 meters. So, we're going to add this two measurements. So, 8 plus 12 and then multiply by 2. So, 8 plus 12 is 20 then times 2. Therefore, our perimeter is 40 meters. Next, Another question is this, one diagonal of a square measure 2x plus 4 inches. If the other diagonal measures 20 inches, what is x? Ang question or hinahanap natin sa problem number 2 is yung ating x. So let's see our square. This is our square and the diagonal is 2x plus 4. So according according sa ating problem. And the other diagonal is equivalent to 20 inches. So the question in this problem is the x. What is the value of x? Now, remember that the diagonals of our square are congruent. Diba? Equal yan. Or pareho ng sukat yung mga diagonals ng ating square. So therefore, we can now make an equation using the given. So, i-equal lang natin sa isa't isa yung 2x plus 4 and 20. So, 2x plus 4 is equal to 20. And then, let us solve for x. So, 2x plus 4 is equal to 20. So, just move 4 to the other side at magiging negative siya. So, 20 minus 4. And then, simplify. 20 minus 4 is 16. And then, meron tayong 2x dito. We need to get the x. That's why we're going to divide both sides by 2 para matanggal yung 2. At maiwan ng x. So, 16 divided by 2 is 8. So, therefore, x is equal to 8. So, nasolve na ba yung problem natin? Okay, yes. So, ang ating x is equal to 8. At ang ating diagonals, pareho sila na ang sukat ay 20. Okay. Let's have number 3. Given trapezoid QRST, which segment QR is parallel to segment TS, and segment UV as the median. If the measurement of segment QR is equal to 16 centimeters and the segment ST is equal to 32 centimeters, what is the segment UV? Alright, so let's draw a trapezoid. So this is our trapezoid QRST. And we have the median according to problem, median UV or segment UV. And ang mga given measurement is yung QR. Segment QR is 16 centimeters. Segment ST, or this one, is 32 centimeters. 
The question is, does the measurement of UV or segment UV or your media natin? Now, let's uh, review or use the formula in finding the median of the trapezoid. Formula natin is 1 half times the sum of two bases. So, i-add lang natin yung dalawang measurement ng base, then times as so 1 half, or simply divide by 2. So, let's substitute in our formula. So, uv is equal to 1 half times okay, the sum of 16 and 32. So, inat lang natin itong mga bases natin. 16 plus 32 is 48. Then, 48 times 1 half, or simply 48 divided by 2, the answer is 24 centimeters. By the way, don't forget the unit of measure. Tignan nyo kung ano yung given na measurement, then yun yung ilalagay ninyo sa inyong final answer. So, 24 centimeters yung sukat nitong ating median UV. Next, let's have number 4. An isosceles trapezoid with a diagonal that measures 52 centimeters and one leg measures 23 centimeters. What is the length of the other diagonal? So, let's draw our trapezoid. So, isosceles trapezoid meaning equal or congruent yung kanyang legs. Ito, pareho sila ng sukat. And then, yung kanyang diagonal ay 52 centimeters. Okay, and the one leg is 23 centimeters. So, ibig sabihin, kung 23 to, 23 na rin itong QT natin. Now, ang question is, what is the length of the other diagonal? Let us recall the theorem number 9 about isosceles trapezoid. Sabi sa theorem number 9 natin, the diagonals of isosceles trapezoid are congruent. So, meaning to say, kung ang QS or yung ating diagonal na given is 52, the other diagonal is also 52 centimeters. Kasi pareho lang sila ng measurement. Okay? So, the answer here is the base angles of isosceles trapezoid are congruent. Therefore, if one diagonal is 52, then the other diagonal is also 52 centimeters. Okay? So, bakit kaya nilagay si 23? So, wala lang yan. Pagulo lang si 23. Pero ang answer natin is just the Diagonal itself, which is 52 centimeters. And another problem given kite hope with diagonals uh, segment HP is equal to 12 centimeters and segment OE is 16 centimeters. What is the area of uh, the kite? So this is our kite, H-O-P-E. At merong given na diagonals. Yung una is yung HP, which is 12 centimeters. And another diagonal which is 16 centimeters. Ang hinahanap or kailangan nating masolve is yung area ng ating kite. Now, recall natin yung formula sa pagkuha ng area ng kite. And that is the product of diagonals, the two diagonals, then multiplied by one half. Okay, so ito yung ating formula, one half times the product of the two diagonals. So, let's multiply the two diagonals, which is 16 and 12. So, multiply lang natin sila. Then, i-times sa 1 half or simply i-divide sa 2. Pagka times, i-divide sa 2. So, 192. So 16 times 12 is 192. Then, divide by 2. Kasi times sa 1 half. So the answer is 96 centimeter square. So, this is area. That's why don't forget the square in our unit of measurement. Okay? So, 96 square centimeters. Okay, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope na makatulong ang mga videos ko para masagutan mo ang mga learning tasks sa iyong module. And don't forget to subscribe and share this to others para sila rin naman matuto at mahalin ang mathematics. You can also follow me on Facebook on my Facebook page of the Teach channel. So, see you again on my next video. Ipapaliwanag ko naman yung kasunod na learning class. Okay? Bye-bye!